The term Palestine refugee originally included both Arabs and Jews whose normal place of residence was in mandatory Palestine but were displaced and lost their livelihoods as a result of the 1948 Palestine War. Today, the term Palestinian refugees refers primarily to the patrilineal descendants of persons who meet UNRWA's Palestine refugee criteria originating in the mandate. As per the UNRWA definition, in 2012 the number of registered patrilineal descendants of the original Palestine refugees based on the UNRWA registration requirements is estimated to be 4,950,000, of which an estimated 1,5 million live in UNRWA camps. The number of original refugees who meet UNRWA's Palestine refugee criteria has declined from 711,000 in 1950 to approximately 30,000 to 50,000 in 2012. During the 1948 Palestine War, around 85% of the Palestinian Arab population of what has now become Israel fled or were expelled from their homes to the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, and to the countries of Lebanon, Syria and Jordan, they and their descendants, who are also entitled to registration, are assisted by UNWRA in 59 registered camps, 10 of which were established in the aftermath of the Six-Day War in 1967 to cope with new Palestinian refugees being the only refugees in the world to be mainly inherited, including unregistered, displaced persons and refugee descendants. The Palestinian Arab refugee and displaced population has grown the largest in the world. They are also the world's oldest unsettled refugee population, having been under the ongoing governance of Arab states following the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, and the refugee populations of Gaza and the West Bank under Israeli governance since the Six-Day War. Citizenship or legal residency in host countries is denied in Lebanon where the absorption of Palestinians would upset a delicate confessional balance but available in Jordan where approximately 40% of UNWRA registered Palestinian refugees have acquired full citizenship rights. Non-binding UN General Assembly Resolution 194, Article 11, resolves that the refugees who wish to live at peace with their neighbors should be permitted to return to their homes at the earliest practicable date. This forms one basis for the Palestinian political claim for a right of return, though the 1948 refugees and their descendants are broadly defined as refugees. Palestinians make several distinctions. The Palestine Liberation Organization, especially those who have returned and form part of the PNA, but also Palestinian refugee camp residents in Lebanon, repudiate this term, since it implies being a passive victim, and prefer the autonom of returnees. Those who left since 1967, and their descendants, are called Nazi Hun or displaced persons, though many descend from the 1948 group. An independent poll conducted in 2003 with the Palestinian populations of Gaza, West Bank, Jordan and Lebanon showed that the majority would accept a financial compensation and a place to live in West Bank or Gaza in place of returning to the exact place in modern-day Israel where they or their ancestors lived. Only 10% said they would live in Israel if given the option. Definitions UNRWA The United Nations Relief and Works Agency defines a Palestine refugee as a person whose normal place of residence was mandatory Palestine between June 1946 and May 1948, who lost both their homes and means of livelihood as a result of the 1948 Arab-Israeli conflict. The patrilineal descendants of the original Palestine refugees are also eligible for registration. UNRWA aids all those living in its area of operations who meet this definition. 
who are registered with the agency and who need assistance, and those who first became refugees as a result of the Six-Day War, regardless whether they reside in areas designated as Palestine refugee camps or in other permanent communities. A Palestine refugee camp is a plot of land placed at the disposal of UNRWA by the host government to accommodate Palestine refugees and to set up facilities to cater to their needs. Only around 1.4 million of registered Palestine refugees, approximately one-third, live in the 58 UNRWA-recognized refugee camps in Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. The UNRWA definition does not cover final status. In many cases, UNHCR provides support for the children of Palestine refugees to registered descendants of UNRWA Palestine refugees, like Nansen Passport and Certificate of Eligibility, holders or like UNHCR refugees, inherit the same Palestine refugee status as their male parent. The UNRWA is an organ of the United Nations created exclusively for the purpose of aiding those displaced by the Arab-Israeli wars, with an annual budget of approximately $600 million. Origin of the Palestine Refugees Most Palestinian refugees have retained their refugee status and continue to reside in refugee camps including within the state of Palestine in the West Bank and in the Gaza Strip. Their descendants form a sizable portion of the Palestinian diaspora. Palestinian refugees from the 1948 Palestine War During the 1948 Palestine War, 711,000 out of around 900,000 Palestine Arabs fled or were expelled from the territories that became the State of Israel. The causes and responsibilities of the exodus are a matter of controversy among historians and commentators of the conflict, whereas historians now agree on most of the events of that period. There remains disagreement as to whether the exodus was the result of a plan designed before or during the war by Jewish leaders or was an unintended consequence of the war. In a study of bias in Palestinian and Zionist sources dealing with the 1948 Palestinian exodus, Stephen Glazer lists a number of early Zionist historians and writers, notably Joseph Schechtman, Leo Cohn, John Kimcher and Maria Sakine, who considered that the Arabs in Palestine were asked to stay and live as citizens in the Jewish state. Instead, they chose to leave, either because they were unwilling to live with the Jews or because they expected an Arab military victory which would annihilate the Zionists. They thought they could leave temporarily and return at their leisure. Later, an additional claim was put forth, namely that the Palestinians were ordered to leave, with radio broadcasts instructing them to quit their homes. The implication of this position is that the Palestinians chose to leave, and thus forfeited their rights to their land, and must accept their own responsibilities for the plight they find themselves in. According to Benny Morris, between December 1947 and March 1948, around 100,000 Palestine Arabs fled. Among them were many from the higher and middle classes from the cities, who left voluntarily expecting to return when the Arab states won the war and took control of the country. When the Haganah went on the defensive between April and July, a further 250,000 to 300,000 Palestinian Arabs left or were expelled, mainly from the towns of Haifa, Tiberias, Beit Sheen, Saif, Jaffa and Acre, which lost more than 90% of their Arab inhabitants. Expulsions took place in many towns and villages, particularly along the Tel Aviv-Jerusalem Road and in eastern Galilee. About 50,000 minus 70,000 inhabitants of Lydda and Ramla were expelled towards Ramallah by the Israel Defense Forces during Operation Dani, and most others during operations of the IDF in its rear areas. During Operation Dekel, the Arabs of Nazareth and South Galilee were allowed to remain in their homes. Today they form the core of the Arab-Israeli population, from October to November 1948.
The IDF launched Operation Yoav to remove Egyptian forces from the Negev and Operation Hiram to remove the Arab Liberation Army from North Galilee, during which at least nine events named massacres of Arabs were carried out by IDF soldiers. These events generated an exodus of 200,000 to 220,000 Palestinian Arabs. Here, Arabs fled fearing atrocities or were expelled if they had not fled. After the war, from 1948 to 1950, the IDF resettled around 30,000 to 40,000 Arabs from the borderlands of the new Israeli state. Palestinian refugees from Six-Day War as a result of the Six-Day War. Around 280,000 to 325,000 Palestinians fled or were expelled from the territories won in the Six-Day War by Israel, including the demolished Palestinian villages of Imwaz, Yalo, Beit Nuba, Shurat, Beit Awwa, Beit Mersam, Shuyuk, Shift Like, Agarith and Huzirat, and the emptying of the refugees camps of Akab at Jabr and Ain as Sultan. Palestinian exodus from Kuwait The Palestinian exodus from Kuwait took place during and after the Gulf War. During the Gulf War, more than 200,000 Palestinians voluntarily fled Kuwait during the Iraqi occupation of Kuwait due to harassment and intimidation by Iraqi security forces. In addition to getting fired from work by Iraqi authority figures in Kuwait, after the Gulf War, Kuwaiti authorities forcibly pressured nearly 200,000 Palestinians to leave Kuwait in 1991. Kuwait's policy, which led to this exodus, was a response to alignment of Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat and the Palestine Liberation Organization with the dictator Saddam Hussein, who had earlier invaded Kuwait. Prior to the Gulf War, Palestinians numbered 400,000 of Kuwait's population of 2.2 million. The Palestinians who fled Kuwait were Jordanian citizens. In 2013, there were 280,000 Jordanian citizens of Palestinian origin in Kuwait. In 2012, 80,000 Palestinians lived in Kuwait. In total, there are 360,000 Palestinians in Kuwait as of 2012-2013. Palestinian refugees as part of the Syrian refugee crisis as a result of the Syrian civil war starting in 2011. 235,000 Palestinians have been displaced in Syria itself and 60,000, alongside 2.2 million Syrians, have fled the country as of October 2013. There were reports that Jordan and Lebanon have turned away Palestinian refugees attempting to flee the humanitarian crises in Syria. Jordan has absorbed 126,000 Syrian refugees, but Palestinians fleeing Syria are placed in a separate refugee camp, under stricter conditions and a ban from entering Jordanian cities. Palestinian refugees from Syria are also immigrating to Europe seeking asylum, especially to Sweden, which has offered asylum to any Syrian refugees that manage to reach its territory, albeit with some conditions. Many do so by finding their way to Egypt and making the journey by sea. In October 2013, the PFLPGC claimed that some 23,000 Palestinian refugees from the Yarmouk camp had immigrated to Sweden alone. Refugee Statistics The number of Palestine refugees varies depending on the source. For 1,948 49 refugees, for example, the Israeli government suggests a number as low as 520,000 as opposed to 850,000 by their Palestinian counterparts. As of January 2010, UNRWA cites 1,396,368 registered refugees in camps and 3,370,302 registered refugees not in camps. The number of UNRWA registered Palestine refugees by country or territory in January 2010 were as follows. 
Gaza Strip 1,106,195, West Bank 778,993, Lebanon 425,640, Syria 472,109, Jordan 1,983,733. In the context of the Arab-Israeli conflict, Jewish refugees were initially resettled in refugee camps known variously as immigrant camps, Marbarot, and development towns, prior to absorption into mainstream Israeli society. Conversely, many Palestinian refugees remain settled in Palestinian refugee camps, while others have been absorbed into Jordanian society or the Palestinian territories. Since 1948, the sovereign state of Israel has guaranteed asylum and citizenship to Jewish refugees, while the self-declared state of Palestine remains unable to absorb the Palestinian refugees. Due to lack of de facto sovereignty over its claimed territories, Gaza Strip The Gaza Strip has eight UNRWA refugee camps with 518,000 Palestinian refugees and 1,221,110 registered refugees in total, out of a population of 1,816,379. West Bank The West Bank has 19 UNRWA refugee camps with 188,150 Palestinian refugees, and 741,409 registered refugees in total, out of a population of 2,345,107. Jordan More than 2 million registered Palestine refugees live in Jordan. Most Palestine refugees in Jordan, but not all, have full citizenship, following Jordan's annexation and occupation of the West Bank. The percentage of Palestinian refugees living in refugee camps to those who settled outside the camps is the lowest of all UNRWA fields of operations. Palestine refugees are allowed access to public services and health care. As a result, refugee camps are becoming more like poor city suburbs than refugee camps. Most Palestine refugees moved out of the camps to other parts of the country and the number of people living in refugee camps is around 370,000, who live in 10 refugee camps. This caused UNRWA to reduce the budget allocated to Palestine refugee camps in Jordan. Former UNRWA Chief Attorney James G. Lindsay says, in Jordan, where 2 million Palestinian refugees live, all but 167,000 have citizenship, and are fully eligible for government services including education and health care, Lindsay suggests that eliminating services to refugees whose needs are subsidized by Jordan would reduce the refugee list by 40% leaving 3 million UNRWA Palestine refugees, Palestinians who moved from the West Bank to Jordan, are issued yellow ID cards to distinguish them from the Palestinians of the official 10 refugee camps in Jordan. Since 1988, thousands of those yellow ID card Palestinians had their Jordanian citizenship revoked. Jordan's interior minister Naif al-Qadi said, Our goal is to prevent Israel from emptying the Palestinian territories of their original inhabitants, the minister explained, confirming that the kingdom had begun revoking the citizenship of Palestinians. We should be thanked for taking this measure, he said. We are fulfilling our national duty because Israel wants to expel the Palestinians from their homeland. Human Rights Watch estimated that about 2,700 Palestinians were stripped of Jordanian nationality between 2004 and 2008. It is estimated that over 40,000 Palestinians were affected by this policy. In 2012, the Jordanian government promised to stop revoking the citizenship of Palestinians, and restored citizenship to 4,500 Palestinians who had previously lost it. Lebanon 100,000 Palestinians fled to Lebanon because of the 1948 Arab-Israeli war and were not allowed to return.
As of 2013, there are 441,543 registered refugees in Lebanon. In a 2007 study, Amnesty International denounced the appalling social and economic condition of Palestinians in Lebanon. Until 2005, Palestinians were forbidden to work in over 70 jobs because they do not have Lebanese citizenship. But this was later reduced to around 20 as of 2007 after liberalization laws. In 2010, Palestinians were granted the same rights to work as other foreigners in the country. Lebanon gave citizenship to about 50,000 Christian Palestinian refugees during the 1950s and 1960s. In the mid-1990s, about 60,000 Shiite Muslim refugees were granted citizenship. This caused a protest from Maronite authorities, leading to citizenship being given to all Christian refugees who were not already citizens. According to writer and researcher Mudazarin, a Jordanian of Palestinian heritage, the media chose to deliberately ignore the conditions of the Palestinians living in Lebanese refugee camps and that the tendency to blame Israel for everything has provided Arab leaders an excuse to deliberately ignore the human rights of the Palestinian in their countries. Syria Syria has 10 UNRWA refugee camps with 154,758 official Palestinian refugees and 499,189 registered refugees in total, out of a population of 17,951,639. Saudi Arabia An estimated 240,000 Palestinians are living in Saudi Arabia. They are not allowed to hold or even apply for Saudi citizenship, because of Arab League instructions barring the Arab states from granting them citizenship. The only other alternative for them is to marry a Saudi national. Palestinians are the sole foreign group that cannot benefit from a 2004 law passed by Saudi Arabia's Council of Ministers, which entitles expatriates of all nationalities who have resided in the kingdom for 10 years to apply for citizenship. India The first group of Palestine refugees from Iraq arrived in India in March 2006. Generally, they were unable to find work in India as they spoke only Arabic though some found employment with UNHCR's non-governmental partners. All of them were provided with free access to public hospitals. Of the 165 Palestinian refugees from Iraq in India, 137 of them found clearance for resettlement in Sweden.